I see. Yeah. No one can come outside, it's alright. Hi, you guys are all great. I feel yeah. amazed to be following such brilliant women. Um, before I get going, I'm going to need to do a little poll. So will all the men in the audience please raise their hands. Get them up. Come on. Thanks. Okay, now ladies. Thanks guys, I got you. Thanks for coming out, you're brave. Ladies, get your hands up too, if you watch porn. <laughs> oh, I got so <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> um, don't be embarrassed, you guys. They're ashamed. Everybody does it. I'll, I'll, I'll go first. My name is Bridget, and I'm a pornaholic. <laughs> no worries, you guys. It's okay. It really just comes from the fact that I am a giant nymphomaniac with a raging case of hypochondria. <laughs> It's bad. <laughs> so I figured porn was the best way to stay safe in this dirty, dirty, dirty ass world. <laughs> that was a really brilliant idea, I thought, until my computer got a virus. <laughs> it's not funny. Porn destroys computers and lives, like mine. I'm a fucking porn addict now. I'm serious. It's not funny. I watch so much fucking porn, my computer thinks I'm a man. <laughs> It's not a joke. I'm always getting these pop-up ads about something like, tired of looking at the same small penis? <laughs> I'll tell you what I'm not tired of looking at. Porn! <laughs> Who the fuck pays for porn, though? Who pays for porn out there? No one. If you're paying for porn, it's because you're either like snuff films or kitty porn. Because otherwise, paying for porn is like paying for air. <laughs> it's fucking endless and free. Why the fuck would you pay for it? I don't get it. I'll tell you why there's so much free porn. Because all you little perverts out there putting up your little amateur videos. <laughs> I know it. I bet 20% of you put up an amateur video. Maybe not 20%. And I've probably seen it. <laughs> Actually, you look a little familiar. I didn't know that hat anyway. <laughs> Only from behind, though. <laughs> And this is why the porn industry is going out of business. So, I'm not gonna lie, you guys, it's a little weird navigating porn as a woman. Like, part of me is just morbidly curious. Part of me is obviously turned on, and part of me feels really, really guilty. But, I'm Catholic, so I'm turned on by God. <laughs> There's some weird shit out there, too, oh my goose. Oh my goodness. I was perusing at DrunkCollegeSluts.com the other day. Some of you might be familiar with it. If you're not, check it out. It's the reason I dropped out of college. It's all these girls, and they're like swapping and getting naked and passing all around STDs and flip video cameras. And crazy orgy and a disease-ridden frat house. And this girl with a plastic cup in hand literally looks at the camera and she's like, Hi, Mom, you raised the classy girl. Oh. <laughs> Ladies, I don't care if you do porn, but keep your mothers out of it. <laughs> Who can come to that shit? Who wants to think of their mom when they're about to come? No one except for weirdos. <laughs> Obviously, none of you are weirdos out there. That's all right. It's okay. It's amazing how fast you become a desensitized weirdo when you watch a lot of porn. <laughs> Trust me, I know. So, I'm watching all this porn and becoming a desensitized weirdo, and this girl, who's like a pro, supposedly, says that she's going to do her first anal scene. I'm like, ooh, that's not even good. You're either lying or you've been in porn for like two days. <laughs> no one who has, never mind, if you haven't seen a lot of porn, you know that someone does anal in like the first 24 hours or two <laughs> So, anyway, she's getting a yes by like some huge black guy. And she's enjoying herself, and I'm kind of getting into it, and she's getting into it, and he is deep into it. <laughs> Somewhere, out of nowhere, she looks at the camera, and she starts fucking crying. <laughs> Real tears. This is not a joke, you guys. This is not a joke. I actually saw this with my own eyes. So she starts crying, and I'm like, oh my god. 
I have a fucking problem because I'm pissed that this girl just ruined it. <laughs> I'm like, suck it up, bitch. This is porn. Porn isn't for pussies. Take it up the ass like a porn star. Come on. Holy shit. This girl's having a revelation about her life. And I'm pissed she ruined my orgasm. <laughs> Who's really got problems here, the porn star or me? I'm starting to wonder. And as I'm having my crisis of conscience, this girl looks at the camera and she's like, still taking it up the ass. I'm pretty impressed with that. The director's kind of checking in on her, still running the film, of course. You okay? You okay? <laughs> Is my eye makeup running? <laughs> Did she just say what I think she said? Because that's kind of hot. <laughs> I'm just worried I'm going to look like I was crying. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, you got a fucking black cock up your ass on the World Wide Web and you're worried about your fucking eye makeup ready? <laughs> but at least I can continue watching that porn without feeling guilty. <laughs> it's an addiction, people. It progresses like anything. I told you I have problems. <laughs> And so, <laughs> it does have real problems. Who has problems with this? Am I the only woman in this room who watches porn? No. Oh. Yes, you ladies. <laughs> so it started innocently, my addiction. It was with Japanese cartoons, hentai. <laughs> what could be so bad about that? They're harmless. They're Japanese. They mean Hello Kitty and Pokemon. <laughs> I'll tell you what's wrong about Japanese porn. Everything. <laughs> Those cartoons are the most fucked up things I've ever seen in my life, but they made me want humans. So then I switched to humans and I'm like, I'll start with a little dipping my toe in gently. Male, female, normal, marital, boring, sex, doggy style. You know, nothing too fancy, but it wasn't enough. Soon I can't come. Now I need anal. Now I need lesbians. I'm working my way through every fucking category until I find Double penetration. <laughs> oh, sweet. Double penetration. Where have you been all my life? You never let me down. Never! Now, what do I need? The works. Fucking dick in every hole. Spitting. Choking. Tw titty twisting. Maybe some nipple clamps. Turtles. I don't know. <laughs> and tears. <laughs> no, I need tears. <laughs> it's sad but true. <laughs> now mind you, I don't actually want to partake in any of this in real life because I'm a hypo, remember? And if I did want to partake in it in real life, I'd be a fucking porn star! <laughs> right? <laughs> I really want to be a porn star, I think. Somewhere deep in my heart, I wish I could do it. But porn, you know, ruins relationships. It's ruined all mine. Why? Because porn is the perfect mate. Porn doesn't ask for a back rub. Porn doesn't snore and drool on my pillows. Porn doesn't grab my hand and say, just touch it. <laughs> and for the record, guys, we know where it is. You don't need to tell us and show us the way. We'll touch it when we want to. <laughs> Porn doesn't wake you up straddling you, slapping a dick across your face. <laughs> Why? Because porn gives endlessly and asks for nothing in return. Porn is like sunshine. Or God. <laughs> actually, actually, if God sees all, aren't we all God's personal porn stars? <laughs> think about it. <laughs> I think we are. Hi, Mom, you raised a classic girl. <laughs>